We have to ask questions of solidarity, which says not only I welcome you, but I stand with you. I'm with you. Yes, Revelation 20 shows us this new heaven and a new earth. It's another mural that shows us where there is no more crying, no more mourning, no more tears. The new has come, but the new is not yet. There is a glorious day coming, but guess what? We're not living in that right now. It has come, and it is coming, and it will come. But today there are tears. Theologically, we understand that things are new, but experientially, we see that for some of us, things are not. And in this place of tension, we invite people to gather, to come together, to tell their stories. So we think about our Native American and First Nations brothers and sisters mourning for their land, and the church in the Middle East, and mamas losing their babies to gun violence, and poverty, and schools that are not giving them any choices. And there are tears! And there is mourning. And the new has not yet fully come. So as much as I want you to sing songs in Spanish, please don't sing songs in Spanish. Put a couple congas in it, eat my tacos, and then not care about what is happening in my pastoral reality. That's hypocrisy. That's tokenism. That's appropriation. To have the facade of diversity and hospitality with no solidarity and oneness and unity. What my church, what my congregation, what my community is going through is not a political issue. It is a pastoral reality that is tearing families apart. And to have people all over the country pretending they are doing diversity by having a person with a Latino last name on their staff and singing a couple songs in Spanish is not true diversity and reconciliation. It is not righteousness, and it does not point to a new time that's coming. It only makes us feel good. But what would it look like What would it look like if we stood together, like my Asian brothers and sisters who are ferociously blogging about Black Lives Matter and why it should matter to them as Asian Americans? And when Latinos come alongside Syrian refugees and say, you have a home here, who else is going to understand your plight but us? We were two once foreigners and aliens. What beautiful things that says to the world around us. But it also can't stop there. It's relational, and it's social as well. But the third piece, beyond solidarity, is mutuality. So we communicate, we welcome you, we communicate, we stand with you, and then we communicate, we need you. And I ran out of time, so let me make this story really short. Who better to help us understand the themes of the book of Ruth theologically than someone who is a woman traveling as a refugee with nothing in her hand or her pockets. A guy in an office somewhere writing a commentary for you and I? Where is the power? Where is the voice? Where is the mutuality? Who better to show us what it feels like to be foreigners and aliens as Christians then, in, like in First Peter, then people who are living out their faith in serious persecution, why then are we translating our commentaries and throwing them overseas? Why are they not in Nigeria writing commentaries for you and I where you and I can come face to face with First Peter and ask, what does it look like to live out our faith in a hostile environment? These are not new themes, which is why I get tired if you see me on Facebook. I get tired of people talking about, this is a new reality for the church. No, this is a reality and has been a long time for the church everywhere. So what if in reconciliation we didn't only practice hospitality? Let's be friends. And solidarity, I stand with you. What if we move beyond that and said to one another, I need your voice. I need your perspective what does it feel like? What is it like to hear that God is for the widow, the orphan, and the alien as a woman who came across the border 
and threw her daughter on a train in order to survive. <clears throat> Talk to me. Teach me. Read the scriptures with me. Let me sit at your feet. Let me learn from you. What would it look like if we began to communicate not only we welcome you, we stand with you, but also we need you? <clears throat> 